guys. Today we have our two caster ZX 1.5R 1 1/8 scale buggies on the bench. And I figure I'll show them to you and explain what we're going to do to them in the future. Both of these I got on RC Tech. I bought them in a pair, got a decent deal on them. I've torn them both down, re-oiled all the diffs and cleaned them. They both cleaned up pretty well for being used. From what I've seen, he's got them set up pretty, or the guy I bought them off of had them set up pretty close to the same. Because he raced them, and I'm pretty sure one was a backup, and the other one he ran. I don't know which one. I honestly can't tell which one got ran harder, because they're both in really good shape. But The plan for these is to e-convert them, because where I race... There's several guys that have electric a scale buggies, and they are amazing on our track. So, I figured I'd just show one of them to keep the length of the video down here. Um, on both of them, I've already made the battery tray, put the straps on it and that. And the reason I made my own is because the caster racing electric conversion kit is kind of pricey, which all a scale buggy stuff really is, but it's got a chassis, a battery tray, and a motor mount, and I think it's got a different servo mount, but from what I've read, the only difference in the chassis is it doesn't have the holes in it for the nitro engine and the fuel tank, which that stuff really doesn't bother me because this battery tray mounts on the fuel tank holes and the motor mount from what I've read you can put on this center diff mount here and just cut this throttle and brake servo mount off which I've seen several of them where people have done them online and you normally can't tell the difference if you don't need enough so I'm just gonna go with that to keep the price down and figure why not save 50 bucks or so and still have the same quality of build um, they're both incredibly well built I know a couple guys that have Mugen MBX6's and they're pretty much identical cars they're both built about the same nice thick heavy arms and I've done a good bit of reading on these cars. They're supposed to be kind of heavy for an 8th scale buggy, which I could go either way with. I mean, they're, that helps in some ways, and other ways it hurts you, but I guess you have positive and negatives of everything. Um, I haven't quite decided on what motor and speed controller combination I'm going to use but I'm going to do a build series come hopefully first to mid January I'll start it and we're going to start out with what we have and build them to ready to race vehicles and come racing season we'll get some videos and see how they run so Thanks for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and share all this. And we have a Facebook page too. It's Affordable RC on Facebook. Please like that. And watch for a update video later in the week. I have recently bought a car, and I should have it midweek or so. And I'll try to do an update when I get it. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs>